Greetings. Welcome to So Much to Talk About. We're here at TESS uh, Football Academy, and uh, my pleasure to have to my right and your left uh, one of the vocal leaders and also one of the one of the major factors for the New York Jets making two straight AFC Championship games, Mr. Bart Scott. Pleasure to have you on the show. Pleasure. Welcome. Welcome to TESS, man. Yes, yes, indeed. And it's always been a pleasure to be here. I've been here for the, the scouting combine training, which has been nice. But uh, so, Bart, talk about um, this is a different offseason than, than you've been used to. So how are you mentally and physically getting yourself um, focused on when football starts? Well, um, I'm just taking it in stride. You know, this is uh, familiar territory, actually, for me, because my uh, previous team, this is how we operated. A lot of guys you know, worked out with their trainers, uh, worked out in different um, cities. You know, so for me, this is more familiar to do it this way than it is to do it in an off-season program. Um, with that being said, I'd much rather be with the guys because what we are missing is, is getting that chemistry. You know, um, the draft is coming up, and, you know, it's important to get the rookies in there infused, learning the system. You know, I think that's what the young guys are, are the guys that's going to struggle, guys that have, you know, new coordinators and, have, you know, have the same scheme. We're just trying to add and improve on what we've been doing. Um, I've always been fascinated by the relationship between you and Rex Ryan. I mean, how you came with him to the Jets because uh, you, you pretty much said that you believed in the man that you brought your family here. So talk about the relationship between you guys and, and how um, how the communication has really blossomed over the years. Well, for me, it's the closest you can get to a uh, father figure within a coach. You know, um, that's the best way I can take it. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a friend. He's a, he's a coach. Um, and he's a partner as well, you know, and uh, I view him that way, you know, and um, I've just been honored to be alone for the ride. You know, he makes things interesting. He keeps the atmosphere, you know, very workable atmosphere. Guys are excited about coming to work every day. Uh, you never know what scheme he's going to have in. We're excited. He keeps our, our interest peaked. You know, I think he's doing a great job in leading that organization and making it relevant. Why is it that, uh, and you talked about this after the Patriots game in one of the most entertaining interviews you know, <laughs> ever with Sal San Antonio, but you talked about how, and you're, you're right about this, why don't the Jets get the respect they deserve? When you have defense and a running game, that takes you far, always towards championships. So why is it that still you feel that people like the media as well as fans don't really respect the Jets like they should? Well, because um, we haven't reached our expectations. You know, we haven't reached our goal. Um, and the only way, because we, the way we go about business, being very confident, you know, some people could say borderline cocky, you know, in the belief that we have in ourselves and stating our goals out in public. You know, people are not going to give you respect until you accomplish what you, exactly what you said you were going to do. We've come close, but we haven't closed the deal. And until we do that, it's going to be, well, you guys are just talking. You know, right now the, the Green Bay Packers are the only people that have the right to talk, you know, to talk smack because they want it. You know, everybody else is chasing those guys. You know, but we still have the same belief and confidence that we can get it done, you know, and um, we don't just – we're not, we're not you know, fair weather, you know, uh, organization. We're not just going to talk and operate on a positive note when we're winning. You know, I think you find out more about us when we go through the tough stretches, we go through the um, obstacles, we go through the tough losses. You know, you watch how this team responds. This team has never responded negatively to anything. We've always took the positive approach to anything that's happened to us, good or bad. And I think when you have that type of environment, you're going to be successful more than I. Talk about your process coming out of Southern Illinois, which is a, a FCS school. Uh, so, um, you know, you paid your dues and then some to be one of the top linebackers in the league. So talk about that process. And also, too, um, do you keep in touch with, uh, with Brandon Jacobs, obviously, you know, with you guys going um, coming from Southern Illinois? Well, yeah, to answer your second question, uh, yeah, I keep in touch with Brandon. Uh, we got a lot of things in common. Um, he lives not too far from me. Um, you know, um, big boxing fans. Yeah, we, we're both huge boxing fans. Mm -hmm. You know, he's more involved as far as being in the ring, but, you know, I'm just as involved as far as going to the matches and, and watching everything that comes out and my relationship with boxers as well. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I keep in contact with him all the time. You know, we still have that pride, understanding that we're carrying the torch, you know, and keeping our college relevant and, you know, as long as we play well and our college pops up on the screen, it's going to peak, you know, people's interest to go down and, and see, you know, if they can find another diamond in the rough. If they can find a starting tailback in the league from a small school, you know, and if they can fall, f find a small, you know, a, a starting linebacker from a small school. So, you know, I, I try and keep going to give the other guys that's in my same situation hope, knowing that, you know, it does happen, you know, that you don't have to come out of a, a, a LSU or USC or a big school to become one of the best, you know, players in the league. You know, um, like Singletary told me a long time ago, greatness comes in all shapes and sizes, and it's not a particular destination that greatness has to come from. 
It's deep, cause like, and also like Rock Hammer says, it's not where you're from, it's where you're at. Exactly. You, know? you know what I mean? If you if you can play, they'll find you. And, wow, Bart, it was a pleasure to talk with you. You know, it, it was great, great to see you work out, and uh, definitely good luck uh, next season, cause we know football will be coming soon for sure. Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry, America, it will be coming. Don't worry about it, it's coming. <laughs> don't have to watch baseball forever, though. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs>